Hello and welcome to a special edition Cataclysm Quick Tip, wherein I will talk about the font that I have discovered and am now using for my live streams. So, fonts in the past I've had some success with, but I've never been really, really happy uh, overall with the font choices. When you start doing the size scaling and font scaling and all the other choices available, I just couldn't seem to get one that I really, really liked. But Recently, I updated my experimental version, and while doing all the updating for the non-standard configuration options and graphics packs and sound packs and so on, I decided to give another try of uh, searching through various fonts to see if I could find one that I liked, and I've hit one that I think is just awesome, and I wanted to pass this information along so other folks can take advantage of it. So I've got on the screen an example. You can see to the right the normal character screen info in the interface. It all just pops really well. The colors are really nice and bright and the uh, fonts are just really, really nice and smooth and easy on the eyes. Let me show you a couple other examples. Here's the character screen. Everything just looks really, really good. I'm just really, really impressed with how sharp all the lettering is and the uh, just the, the, the way it pops out at you. Um, so that's the examples there. Now, I do use two different fonts. I've got Consolus Bold font for that text, and then I use a White Rabbit font for my map. And it's a square setting for the sizes to get it to look exactly like this. Took my eyes just a couple of days to uh, adjust to the square shape, but I really, really like it, and I think it makes it easier for people watching my live stream uh, playthroughs on uh, smaller video devices, phones and tablets and things like that. I think it just really separates the information out a little bit and makes it more obvious and uh, a little easier to watch. So I'm going to show you how to get these fonts into the game. If you would also like to take advantage of them, there's the character or the beginning screen, by the way, too. Even here, you can just really see how much better it looks than I think the generic font does. So let's get out of here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right. So in your Cataclysm folder, I've got it in Games and then CDDA, you've got this list of folders. The two we're going to talk about are the Config folder and the Data folder. So in the Data folder, there is a Font folder, and inside that are the basic fonts that are going to be used by the game. So the two fonts you want to go look for are the Consolus Bold font and the White Rabbit font. They're both TTF fonts, so shouldn't have a problem finding them. They're everywhere on the web. Just go to Google or whatever your search engine of choice is and type in Consolus Bold font or White Rabbit font and should come right up. Download those files, drop them into this font folder that's inside your data folder, inside your Cataclysm installation folder. And that's the only thing you really need to do on that side. Then back out, go to the config folder. Inside of there, you have a fonts.json file. That's what this on this side of the screen is. This is my fonts.json file. These are the settings I'm using. So I am using font blending 122424, console is bold for both of those. And the overmap font, I'm using 22 for the width, height, and size. And that's the white rabbit font. So if you set yours this way, drop those two TTF font files into your font folder, then you also should get your game looking just like mine does. Now this is assuming that you are on a 1920 by 1080 screen, which is what I've got my settings for. So I've got my settings, graphics, doo -doo -doo, terminal width and terminal height. So 1920, which is equals to the 160 on terminal width. And the closest you can get uh, oh yeah, they actually changed that. Used to be you couldn't get exact, but 1920 by 1080. So maybe that's why my fonts adjusted in the past. Not sure. But however, so I'm running it on 1920 by 1080 with those various settings that I showed you. And that's what gets... As soon as it comes back up. That's what gets this really, 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 really awesome looking font. So can't stress enough just how good this actually looks. I recommend you try to give it a, a go and see how you think it looks. Um, I just think it looks awesome. So it's just so much, much cleaner and uh, brighter. I, I just don't know how to describe it. I love it. So hope you enjoy it also and uh, stay safe out there. Have a great day. Bye bye.